Hey everybody, Rex Bear League Project. Just wanted to give you the latest updates on the worst fires in recorded history in the state of California. Also, in the United States, this is the worst fire since the turn of the century, the Camp Fire. Camp Fire. 148,000 acres burned, 55% contained, 71 fatalities thus far, 11,862 structures destroyed, including houses. The Wolsey Fire. 98,362 acres burned, 82% contained, three fatalities, 713 structures destroyed, 57,000 are in danger. 57,000. This is unprecedented. And unfortunately, over 1,000 people are unaccounted for in the California wildfires. Read about it in CBS News. I'll leave a link in the video description box. This is really bad. Another thing that's really bad, Look at the toxic air. I'm going to show you the index in just a moment. As I was saying before, Gizmodo. California has the most toxic air on the planet, thanks to wildfires. Northern California now has the worst air quality in the world, thanks to wildfire smoke. Vox. Mashable. California cities hit with the worst air pollution on Earth from wildfires. I'll show you an image in a moment. It was compiled from Berkeley, Google Earth. If you want to prepare, have a bug out bag ready. You know, have supplies in your trunk, in your car, if you just need to go. Right now, limited time, two weeks worth of food for 75 bucks. 15 calories a day, breakfast, lunches, dinners, eight food varieties. You can even upgrade to a four-week supply for $147 with 2,000 plus calories. If anything, just have something prepared. You know, it's always good to have food. It's always good to have water filtration systems. It's always good to have a means if you can. So this is, this is right here showing you by Google.org. This is a crisis map showing you the devastation from the campfire. You can see all the road closures. And I can't even imagine what it must have been like when this first started for people. It was probably surreal for a lot of people. They're just like, what do we do? It's okay. It'll be okay. There's nothing on the news about it, right? I mean, that's just the way most people are conditioned. Imagine trying to get out of there when the roads are closed. You can't see. It's bumper to bumper. Flames on each side of you. You can feel the heat. You know, I'm a bit concerned out here in southern Colorado because of all the dead trees. The overgrowth, the drought conditions, the beetle kill conditions. So if you look at these towns that have been destroyed, Concow, what do we have up here? Polga, Big Bear, Big Bar, I'm sorry, Big Bar. There's a Big Bar out there, not anymore. Park Hill, Paradise. Now, Paradise the cost of living and housing costs out there were some of the cheapest in the, in the, not the country, but in the state from the reports that I've heard. Now, if they have to move elsewhere or depending on the cost to rebuild there, a lot of these people aren't going to be able to afford to live in California. That entire town, I mean, it's, it's a small city. It's bigger than Durango. Durango's got over 18,000 people. I think it's a pretty big city now. I mean, San Antonio, obviously, one and a half million people if you're in New York City. But Paradise, 26,500 plus, most of those people are going to have to find somewhere else to live until their house is either rebuilt or they may have to live somewhere else completely. Now, let's go here. And you can see Hell, Helltown. It burnt around Helltown. How symbolic. Helltown is just a ghost town, but look at that. How symbolic. Now, this is California statewide fire map, campfire. This is the, you can see Polga Road, Camp Creek Road, near Jarbo Gap, Butte County, 148,000 acres burnt, 55% contained. Zoom in here a bit. Move out of that. This is one of many fires. Over the past almost 11 months, over the past almost 11 months, there has been more acreage burnt in California than two Rhode Islands combined. So what's, 
What is that about the size? of? Is Delaware about the size of two Rhode Islands? I don't know. I've never been there. There's a, there's a few states in the Union that I haven't been to, and you know, those are the ones way up there northeast. I'm sure it'll happen, though. I'm divigating. Chico, 100,000 people, approximately. Looks like it's staying, staying to the northeast right now. That's good. Now let's take a look at the air quality index here. Now this is just going to show you, this is no joke, the air quality index directly from the source, Air Now, Environmental Protection Agency, they really love us. Well, here's another thing that's a cause for concern in my opinion. These levels of toxins, are they showing the horrific toxins that could have possibly been brought up when these fires were engulfing and scorching the Santa Susana testing grounds, the Woosley fire. I showed you the reports, the list of toxic chemicals, PCBs, carcinogenic uh, herbicides, pesticides, radioactive isotopes, heavy metals, the levels and percentages that they tested. Look for yourself. So where does all that stuff go when the fire picks it up? Or does it just stay on the ground? Well, these levels right here showing you 0 to 50 is good, 51 to 100 moderate, over 100, 100 to 150 is considered unhealthy for people that are sensitive groups, you know, might have compromised immune systems, 151 to 200 unhealthy, 201 to 300 very unhealthy, that's the purple index, and then you've got the maroon index, 301 to 500, that is considered hazardous. So... When we go back to this article here, California has the most toxic air on the planet thanks to wildfires. Let's look at the actual indexes, shall we? We just look at it. Take a look right there. 37 in Antelope Valley. That's still considered. Yeah, you're still in the, in the good range. But look at this. Arden, Acade, Del Paso Manor. Unhealthy. Bakersfield. Oh, well, you know, it's okay if you're not in a sensitive group, according to this. Let's scroll down here. 231 in Chico. 231 in Chico. Are you serious? I got to show you this real quick, too. Let me pull this up. Bada bing, bada bang. Will you just look at it? Okay, so this map right here is showing you the air quality, and this was compiled from Berkeley, Berkeley Google Maps. Now, if you look at California there, look at this. Looks like a big turd, doesn't it? I mean, it, it looks pretty, pretty gnarly if you look at the conditions, the coloring, and you can see if you scroll down here, the pollution concentration, hazardous, you know, it's in there in the 500 level, 3 to 500, Actually, 3 to 500 is considered hazardous. We just went over this. And look at the state of California. Look at the entire state compared to the rest of the nation. And then if you compare that to the world, I mean, that's even worse than here in China, Beijing, Hong Kong, places that get ripped, you know, ripped in the news for their air quality control. Well, look at California. You're, you're there. If you're there, Chico, 231, Concord, 204, Davis, 206, very unhealthy, very unhealthy, Gridley, very unhealthy, unhealthy, Fremont, Fresno, Imperial Valley, Livermore, Merced, California, Modesto, California. Now, what's this going to do to all the crops? Napa Valley, or I'm sorry, not Napa Valley, Napa, well, 177. Oakland, 199. How many people live in California? Well, now, just, just, oh, breathe it in, baby. Breathe it in. Well, here, here's the good news. At least the, at least the flames are hopefully destroying the, the smart dust. Halo! It's now, it's now stupid dust. It can't even, it can't even compute properly. It, it can't connect to all the other nodes that are around it. You know, it's like, can't, 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 
Rewrite code, rewrite code, rewrite code. And then, you know, the, the MFers are like, we can't understand all this smart dust anymore. The data's too loud. Ah! And then they just start freaking out. Reading, 155. Redwood City, 172. Sacramento, 182. San Francisco, 181. San Jose, 170. San Rafael, 205. Santa Cruz, 162. Santa Rosa, 162. Just to remind you, unhealthy. Now, Stockton, 171. Remember John Stockton? Ukiah, California, 156. Vacaville, 170. Now we're getting into the extremely unhealthy zone again. Or I'm sorry, not extremely. Very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. What do we have here? Woodland, 211. And Yuba City, 263. So, ladies and gentlemen, you're breathing this in if you're in California in those areas. Or maybe you're not. Maybe, maybe you've created a, uh, a force field. That's actually something that you could do, possibly. I mean, you know, you, you've heard the saying, mind over matter mind over matter, you could create a magical force field, you know, and then you could, you could just start pushing those heavy metals and toxins and pollutants, push it away with your mind. Try that. It, it may not work. You know, it might work for the placebo effect, but you know, bad news folks, be careful and we'll see where it's going next. Be safe. Good change you want to see.